wizards being caught even though we try to believe that they are real there's something in us that believe that this story could either be fabricated or edited if i didn't even see this guy i would never have believed that things like this are real My brothers and sisters, there is a need for us to pray before we go to bed at night. Let's commit our lives into the protection of God's care. Because while we sleep at night, while we dream, while we are snoring, rolling on the bed, there are a lot of things that goes on around us. And we can live through this life I would never ever understand the things that goes on around us while we sleep i am making this video to advise and encourage you that it is important to pray before you go to bed commit your house commit your environment into god's protection majority of us cannot tell the kinds of battle that god fights for us while we sleep at night It is very risky to live our lives without prayer. Sometimes we hear stories of people going to bed and never waking up. No matter the term that doctor used to address that situation, none of us can tell what actually happened that night while that person was still sleeping. We are sleeping at night none of us can tell the things that goes on around us when i first saw this video i thought it was fake
Around 7 a.m., my neighbor came to my house to tell me that something has happened in the next compound that I needed to see. He said they just caught a young boy who confessed to be a witch, that he and his members were flying at night for an operation, and while they were trying to invoke the spirit of the person, he crashed from the roof and fell to the ground and broke his wings and the other witches left him and flew away. Although the male version of a witch is known as a wizard, but I'm just trying to use the very word my neighbor and other persons used while explaining the situation to me. Things like this happen every blessed day. But we don't even know it. This reverend woke up in the morning and found this young boy lying naked in his backyard. I had to interview the reverend. Um, sir, so please, can you tell us what happened this morning with that guy that was naked? Okay, what happened is that when we woke up this morning, at our normal prayers, we discovered that a boy stuck naked, seated at this particular junction, this particular point. And we tried to find out. And this is a church? Yeah, this is a church premises, Jesus the Rock, Anglican Church, Agbo. So we, we were at first, we were confused like, is he a mad person? But after interrogation, we discovered he's not a mad person. Where are you coming from? He said Ababu, he said the Vanessa, and then we now began to call our church members to come and witness what is happening in their church. And then they came and the interrogation continued. That somebody confirmed that the boy is a student, a normal student in the class. That is where we now became convinced that it's not a mad person per se, a lunatic. So that is what happened. So the rest video I will send to you later. Okay, but what did the boy say? Did you interrogate him? Uh, we cannot him? really ascertain now. You know, he, he's talking as if he's confused. He's talking as if he's uh, confused. No, that was why we were thinking whether he's a, a mad person. Okay. But uh, people confirm that that is how they behave. That, okay, uh, probably because probably he's a witch suspect. Probably. So. Because I'm curious, why would he be? A um, line stuck naked here yeah, and uh, so sitting, not lying. he was sitting down yes, yes, naked yes. early in the morning early around the morning. six. Uh, yeah, um, and there are rumors that um, he 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 said he and his members were flying, probably, and they crashed, yeah, or he crashed and yeah. they abandoned him, yeah. That was what I heard. It's yes. a rumor. Did you confirm that from him? Uh, that is what the boy said. In okay. His confession. That they were planning to go kill no, somebody they somewhere. Were somewhere and they crash landed. Okay. Uh, but I, I some there was a rumor that um, the, their mission was to go kill somebody and they were trying to invoke the no, person's people, spirit. People will always say things. People will always say things. So I don't know whether they are planning to go and kill somebody. <laughs> people will always say things. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll be expecting to get a video from you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. All right, thank you very much. Sir, what's your position in the church here? I am the vicar of the church. The what? The vicar. Okay, all I right. The post, the man the bishop sent to take care of the church. Okay, all right. What's your name, sir? Reverend Kings Before come. Okay, nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay you met this plantain with him? No, 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 no. One of the elders came and caught the plantain. Okay. You know, this is a traditional way of, uh, you know, finding out who is who. So okay. they stood in there before he started the confession. Okay. Oh boy. So I like to get the video. Man, this is live and direct. Life and direct. Life and direct. Um, my house is just this house here, and this is the this is the Anglican I mean, church. Let just let just see the of the church. Yes. So what I'm shocked is because I've been seeing footage of like all. Oh, 
I've been seeing videos like this online, but I've never really seen it until now. So I'm just gonna leave. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. He said they won't share me. 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 They won't Witchcraft is real. Really, indeed, my brother. The fire of God Almighty in Africa Church. Let him down. Okay, let's just get the sign for church. I think God just gave me the opportunity to see for myself the things that goes on around us why people are sleeping at night and snoring. Every day we hear stories about witches.